Hello again, I'm Robert Fithin, and well, here it is, the Humming Guru Ultrasonic Cleaner over a year later. You may remember a little over a year ago, I first got this, posted the video, cleaned a few records with it, showed you how it worked. So what's it like a year later? I've cleaned over a thousand records with this. I've been pretty serious with this little Humming Guru Ultrasonic Cleaner. And uh, is it still uh, working? Am I still happy with it? Here's the story. So you may remember from the uh, earlier video that I always do a pre-cleaning before I put records into the Humming Guru. I've been uh, pretty meticulous on cleaning my records, that's for sure. And I use a combination of TurgiClean, which is a record cleaner that a lot of the uh, vinyl enthusiasts use, just a couple of drops of this. And also Ilfotol, which is a wetting agent that's used to clean film with. That's been recommended and uh, a great solution. It's worked for me for over a year, just a couple of drops in your uh, distilled water jug, shake it up, and then you can put it in a spray bottle like this and you're good to go. I use a Kermis brush to uh, apply it onto the record. I've got four of these actually, depending on how clean the record originally is. For records that just need a, a very slight cleaning, I've marked the brush A and used that one and then B for records that are a little less clean and then all the way up to D. Like I said, I've got four and the D brush is for records that look like they've come from a a basement at a garage sale. I don't want to clean records with that brush and then go and use the same brush to clean a, you know, a relatively clean record that just needs a light cleaning. So I've got four different ones of those. Uh, once again, it's a Kermis brush and uh, all set to go. So I'm going to spray some of the uh, TurgiClean uh, distilled water uh, solution here onto the Kermis brush. Try to get it around there nice and evenly. And uh, it's kind of hard to tell where you where you have it on here. Uh, with the color vinyl, but I wanted to get something nice and bright and and pretty for you for the uh, video So that's why I chose this uh, this blue Beatles record But yeah, try to get it on there nice and evenly moving it around making sure that you're getting it uh, into the grooves to quote Madonna and uh, Then you just kind of let it sit for like 80 or 90 seconds Let it work its way in there and come back take your microfiber uh, towel here I like to fold mine like this as I go along and then fold it, you know, down as I go along. That way I'm never using the same part of the towel twice. I never just kind of grab it and, and go because then you don't know what you've already worked with or whatever. So I have an actual system with that too. So then I kind of rinse it off and, and uh, dry it off. It's time to do the other side and then put it into the Humming Guru. Now the first thing we're going to do, you may remember from the uh, first video or you may have your own unit, is we're going to fill the tank with distilled water. Now you may see these little uh, notches here for seven inch and 12 inch. I've learned to go ahead and fill it all the way up to seven inch because seven inch vinyl and 12 inch vinyl have the same size label. So I don't really understand why that's like that. And if you don't fill it, you know, almost all the way up like that, you're not going to get the entire surface of the record sometimes. And some of the records, you know, the, the music goes almost all the way to the end. So you pour that into the tank just like that. Uh, again, there's a much more detailed uh, version of this whole thing on the earlier video, including powering it up and the different links that you can clean, the different cycles you can use. So I'm just going to kind of speed through it this time. You put the record in, hit this. I always do a full cleaning, so I hit that twice. You can see the record turning around, getting wet, it's cleaning. It'll do that for five minutes and then it will dry the record for five minutes. A lot of the more expensive ultrasonic cleaners uh, do not dry the record and you have to do that uh, yourself. So this one actually takes care of everything. The record comes right out of it and it is ready to put on the turntable. As far as being noisy, uh, it's not really that noisy uh, or that annoying sounding. It does have a certain screech because it is an ultrasonic cleaner. But the reason I have this in my little laundry uh, closet here with the washer and dryer is so I can close the doors on it. And so now that it's completely cleaned it and completely dried it, you simply take the record out and it is uh, ready to play, basically. Now the next step is to take this and pour it in again, but this time uh, you've got this filter here that you're pouring it through. So you're keeping the lid on, keeping it nice and tight, and then once it gets past these little two holes here, you can just kind of prop it up here and it'll pour itself in. And once that's full, you put the tank back into the side and you're ready to repeat the process with the next record. So after over a thousand records and a little over a year of use, how satisfied am I with the Humming Guru uh, ultrasonic cleaner? 
very satisfied. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have kept cleaning <laughs> records with it. So really kind of, it was kind of obvious if I say I've cleaned over a thousand records with it, that it, it probably works and it definitely does. And I'm uh, very happy with it. Uh, there was a slight snag one time where it just stopped working. The light on it started flashing red. And uh, I got advice from Reddit that all you have to do is contact Humming Guru. They'll tell you how to fix it. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. I uh, emailed the company, uh, sent them a little video and, uh, of what it was doing. And they said it was the power grid that had failed. And uh, they sent me a new power grid with instructions and a video on exactly how to take the machine apart and uh, replace the power grid. All basically was to unscrew a few things, disconnect a few wires, connect them back again. Uh, there was no soldering involved or any of that. But um, yeah, so basically it was really easy and it was totally free, free of charge. I did not get charged anything with that and I followed the instructions and it was back up working just as good as before. So uh, really appreciate that kind of help because anything can fail you know, after over a thousand uses. So uh, it was good to go though. Very, very simple fix on that. And like I said, totally free. Uh, the only slight complaint I have is these filters in the, in the water tank here get dirty and they need to be replaced. And uh, right now that's only set up in Hong Kong to get replacements. So you have to pay extra shipping and whatever. Hopefully at one point they'll have a nice U.S. Distribu distribution where you can uh, get the, uh, get the uh, filters without paying extra shipping and waiting and all of that stuff. But that's a very small complaint. Everything else has been... Very, very smooth, and I'm very, very happy with the Humming Guru uh, Ultrasonic Cleaner. Like I said, a very compact cleaner. Yes, there are more expensive ones that clean six records at a time and uh, all of that. And you can set up a workstation with them with, you know, big tubes coming out and water buckets and all that kind of thing. But for as compact as this is and the relatively inexpensive price, uh, I'm, I'm very, very happy with the Humming uh, Guru uh, ultrasonic cleaner. So yeah, just uh, use a little pre-treatment on there. And uh, it really gives a testament of how well this thing works. Because like I said, I pre-clean all these records with these great, uh, you know, chemicals. And still the filter, it gets a little dirty. So that means that the, it's even after the cleaning, it's still finding that that dirt way down into the into the grooves and uh, getting it out of there. So that's just a testament to how, how well this uh, ultrasonic cleaner works. It's very compact and portable and uh, very easy to use and it has a lid that it comes with to give it some nice protection in case you have a cat that likes to sit on anything and everything. And also wanted to mention too that I am in no way affiliated with Humming Guru. I did not get this for free. This is not a paid endorsement. I'm not making anything from Humming Guru for making this video. I, again, I'm not affiliated with them at all. I am just a customer who bought this like anyone else. And I uh, just wanted to tell you all about what it's like a little over a year and over a thousand records later. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I'm Robert Fithin and uh, keep your records clean.